Hey there, my name is Dimitri, and here at JobForum, we try to bring you very effective solutions utilizing AI in order to augment what you're doing in your daily life. And this video is gonna dive into how you can utilize our Google Sheets integration in order to make your job that much easier as somebody who handles those pesky job applications. And just so you know, JobForm Tables, which is one of JobForm's native built-in products, actually allows users an easy way to see and manage form submissions. But if your company syncs with Google and you need to export data in Google Sheets, we have you covered there as well. So oftentimes people use job applications as a way to get a number of people into their business from a prospecting standpoint and then see which one of them would be the best for the job. Unfortunately, a lot of the different things that you end up dealing with are clunky platforms, bad integrations, and specifically not being able to integrate the data you receive into a platform that you'd like. Here in this video, we're gonna show you how to quickly make a form using JotForm that integrates with Google Sheets so you can see those great job applicants on the back end with minimal effort needed. So let's try it out. We're gonna go into our JotForm AI generator. So there's actually a preset for job application form. We're gonna click on that and the prompt is gonna say, develop a basic job application that serves as a one page solution for collecting essential information from applicants. This form should encompass personal details, education, background, et cetera. Okay, cool. So we pressed create this form and the AI is gonna create the form based on that prompt in a quick and easy manner. And you can customize it to your liking. I just went with the basic one because we're showing you how easy it can really be. So right here we have the job application form. You have someone's basic name, their email address, their phone number, position that they're applying for at the company. Awesome, and then the highest level of education that they have, field of study, work experience, previous employer. Okay, cool. Now, here's what we wanna do. So for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna show you how we can go into settings and integrate it with Google Sheets. So let's go into our integrations. and We're gonna get Google Sheets here. Now, you have two options here. You can either create a new spreadsheet or you can create a new worksheet in an existing spreadsheet and add form data. Many different options here. Obviously, you can choose from. You could basically grab somebody's information and make a new one. I'm gonna use existing spreadsheet for this case, okay? So let's authenticate this with my account. And you'll see that it gives you the option to select form fields to send to Google Sheets. So it has all the different form options that you have here. So maybe we can put the submission date, I think is a probably a good field to add and the submission URL so you can look at it. Okay, so let's select a sheet from our Google account. I just simply have a job application tracker that people can go into. So I'm just gonna search that name here. When I open this up, I'm gonna go and type job. Oh, it's at the top, look at that. I selected it, awesome. And we can make the uh, work, new worksheet name be uh, form responses, so that works. Press save. And now let's publish it and show you how it works. If we open this up in a new tab, we're gonna pretend that we're gonna give a bunch of submissions for uh, the same position here. So I'm just gonna fill out the form. Pretend I'm a fun person who has prospects. Put things like my birthday. I'm applying for the graphic design position. I have a master's degree, and then I'm gonna press submit here. Now, after that submission goes through, guess what's in the job application tracker? And you'll see it actually nicely made this pinned at the top. And check it out. We have this submission right in here. We have the email address. We have the phone number. We have street address if people wanted to add it in there. I'm gonna go through and give you some more examples of maybe what people would put in here. We could obviously have the previous employers and stuff like that in here but I'm gonna hide some of these fields and give you a better view of what maybe could be shown on the back end. And as I told you with that submission URL, it ends up showcasing to you the full filled out form, which I think is really nice. You can reply to it, you can comment on it, very nice. You can download it and even edit it as well, which is kind of cool. But yeah, all this information's in the back end, which I think is very useful. Um, we actually have two different example submissions I gave, because so I've been just kind of cooking on going in the back end and making it. Say you had a couple different candidates to choose from, you'd be able to go through and see this on the back end, right? Any new time a submission would happen, you know, simply say Jill Smith submits. She's applying for the graphic design role. She ends up having a master's in graphic design and graduated in 2019. Whereas with the other jobs applications, we have two different people that 
both were applying for graphic designer. Their highest level of education was pretty good, but they actually had a marketing field of study rather than graphic design, which is actually pretty interesting. I think I'd much prefer someone with graphic design experience over a person that has marketing experience for the graphic design role. So being able to see this uh, and filter it in a different way is probably useful too. If you could imagine at an extended level, you know, filtering by, okay, I don't want people who don't have a high school education. That's why, for example, or maybe you want people with just a high school education so you can mold them. Uh, for example, we see high school is an option, associates an option. So you can really filter it down by their field of study or whatever you're looking for. Say I was filtering to people only with graphic design limits me to one candidate. So I recommend that you try this out. It's really easy to do this with not only just the, you know, job application tracking itself. There's a bunch of different use cases you could have with this. I can think of many off the top of my head, but what's important is that, you know, this is very easy and can continuously add to a Google sheet. And if you're somebody who likes Google sheets, that's your more preferred way of viewing these. I definitely recommend you try out that integration, use that update option, and you can have all the submissions go into one simple and easy spreadsheet. With that being said, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked this tutorial. Hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.